hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to update the data by id into the database in php mysql so guys this is my table which i have created where students and where i have some details about the students like name and class and the phone number so guys we will be updating by its id so guys now let's get started with it so over here I am using bootstrap 5 to design this user interface and now let's create a form to update those datas where form and the form method will be method is equal to post dot form hyphen group label the student name you can here and the input the class to design that form form control and then you need to give a name attribute for this so let's give name is equal to name and let's copy and paste again three times so this will be the class and then the phone number phone number change its types so let's type student or directly we can mention class and this will be phone save and create one simple button let's copy button button update data we will tell design this button 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 hyphen primary and the button type will be submit and the name of the button will be update student data now let's write a action in this code.php so guys i have already created a code.php file so now when i click this button that time it will go to code.php with the method post by taking its all its input field values so let's go there so first we'll copy this and move to code.php over here let's write a if condition to check the button is clicked or not with the help of is set function where you are going to get that button with the post method let's paste and now we need to get the id to update that so let's create one more input to search that id let's type student id and this will be your student underscore id as simple save let's get back over here so guys, now let us see the output of this form first. Refresh. So you can see that student ID, name, class, and phone. And this is the update button. So when I enter the ID as one and then change the details over here, when we click that time, the data should get updated in this row where ID number one. Okay. So let's move back and start the code. let's add a simple class margin bottom 3 and now let's go to code.php and start coding about this so where i will create dollar id dollar underscore post of you will get the student id from it let's copy this paste and now same way you are going to get that name also let's copy and paste where the student name will be that so student name is name copy paste where next will be the class let's copy this and paste and then phone so this is the input field names class and phone let's check once it's a class and phone let's get back and now guys let's write the query dollar query q u e r y 
and write a code to ins update the data so let's type update where set so before setting what you are going to set is nothing but your table name so let's get back copy this table name and paste over here and now you are going to set all the column fields so my column fields are student name class and phone so let's go to structure and copy this column name let's get back paste is equal to inside single quote you have to paste let's copy this dollar name paste give comma and then again call the column field of student class inside single quotes you are going to copy this variable paste and then again student phone where now this phone variable will be copy and paste now you have to write a where condition where id is equal to inside single quotes you are going to pass this variable called id that's it so now let's run this above statement or query with the help of mysqli query function where you will give the connection first so i have already given the database connection and then your query so let's copy this query and paste so guys once if if it is updated i want to return and redirect else it should tell no 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 record updated so let's use session to check that message let's type dollar underscore session where you are going to call this as status you will tell not updated and return and redirect which is a header location back to same page which means this page so let's copy and back so on what condition you are going to check with this dollar query run if it is set then only you have to come else you need to just go back with the same do this method let's paste and this status of your session so make sure you are started the session and if you want to use this session on this page which means this page you have to start the session at the top scss ion session start function and now to display your message you need to write a simple code so let me just paste i have already done that here so this is a simple code about using session and show the message so let's save guys and now let us check with the code once and then execute so everything seems correct over here where id also is there and query to execute then we are coming in if condition oops we didn't change this so let's change where data updated successfully let's save this and now guys everything is set and now let's test this let's get back refresh so first we will update with id1 where student name is with prakash so let me just update with other name let's paste id number 1 funda of web it and classes web dev and some random digit phone number so let's update over here you can see data updated successfully so guys now let us get back to database and refresh this and again let's check that cool so fund of web it student name has updated with the class also with the name too so guys let's update with this id number 5 where mmm to other name let's refresh and now let's paste id number 5 and now guys let us update with like and he is from bcom and the phone number let's update some phone number and click update data updated successfully you can just browse and see alexander from bcom so guys we have successfully updated the data by id into database in php 
सो गैस थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर